the ACC seems like the league that's more likely to have multiple teams in. What do you what do you think, uh, Ross, on that? Yeah, the parity in the Big Twelve seems um, we and we we talked about it quite a bit, right? I think it's the most parity, and so you could see them uh, beating each other up. I mean, you could realistically see like a three loss Big Twelve champion because. Uh, of how much parity there is top to bottom in the league. And you look at the ACC, it's kind of the opposite, right? There, There's the top of the league with about, you know, four or five programs up there. And then um, there's maybe a very small middle, and then there's a big bottom to the league. There's not as much parity when you when you look at history and the resources and all that, all that stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I think when you look at Florida State, Clemson, Miami, you know, Virginia Tech, I think could be sneaky good, actually get into that mix this year. And uh, it may be maybe a, a North Carolina or, or NC State. Uh, you could see two of those, you know, two of those six teams maybe uh, uh, trying to distance themselves. But if you're in the ACC, the, the problem is your second best team, which might be, you know, say 10 and two or something like that at the end of the year is is um, going to compete in the ACC championship game. And it's going to be interesting to see how the committee handles the loser of these championship games in the Big 12 and in the ACC. The loser of the championship game in the SEC and the Big 10 is in, right? We probably pretty much know that. That's It's going to be the second best team. There. But the, the loser in the ACC in the Big 12 championship game could have three losses. Um, it certainly could have two losses, uh, and, and how are they going to handle that stacked up with even other teams in the league, maybe the third best finisher. So that, that's, that's pretty fascinating dynamic there that could play out. Absolutely. Um, I think those championship games will carry a lot of payload and potential penalty, really, if you lose it, um, if you've had a good season, but you know, the, I think the. The, the conundrum for the ACC is your two best football programs are the ones that want to get out. And so, yes, you want two in, but what if it's two that are have spent all oh, the last year agitating to leave your league? And, and this would reinforce their point that, hey, we're carrying this league here um, in Florida State and in Clemson. And so there's a little bit of a double-edged sword there. I think there are other good teams. I, I still I think watch out for SMU coming sailing in. Um, Ross mentioned Miami. I think NC State and Louisville also could be uh, kind of in the, the periphery there, and things break right. They could end up in a championship ACC championship game. But there's no doubt that, I mean, when you are fighting not just for credibility but really to – you know, boy, your existence that the ACC could really benefit from a broadly successful year. And to Dan's point, there's no doubt the benefit of the doubt always goes to the SEC, regardless of what happens in non-conference play. And last year they weren't good in non-conference play and they still, you know, got their champion in there um, in Alabama. And everybody, a lot of people said, well, Georgia should have gotten in too. Well, you know, Florida State was the undefeated team that got left out. That turn is just the difference in a benefit of doubt that goes to SEC versus ACC. And if you look at it, you know, like Florida State's schedule set up for a great start. They're obviously replacing a lot of good players, but they also have gotten a lot of good players. And they start Georgia Tech neutral, uh, more or less. Then Boston College at home, Memphis at home, Cal at home. And then they're at SMU September 28th. Clemson October 5th and then late October at Miami uh, early November at Notre Dame so that's where the rubber will hit the road I think for the Seminoles and with Clemson it's right away noon Saturday August 31st Georgia in Atlanta and then you know things are not as hard after that but that's going to be an immediate credibility game there and people will draw broad conclusions and assumptions based on how they look so Clemson needs to show up ready. A couple of things there. So the Atlantic and the coastal divisions are gone, or they are. They're gone. Okay, right. Because we yep. now have bi-coastal. We'll get to some of the absurdities <laughs> yes, <do>. here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Don't be alarmed when you see Stanford roaming around the Atlantic coast. <laughs> Even, yeah, today, I, I, you know, seeing Stanford roaming around Charlotte it mm. should be interesting. Stanford and Cal there. This is the, like, Cal. you know, yeah. seeing Arizona and Arizona State and Utah and the Big 12, media, it's, eh, it's not that, so especially it was in Vegas and Texas and Oklahoma. We've known they were coming for years at the SEC. This is the first one that's like, oh, that's weird. Yeah, yeah. Also kind of odd, um, an interesting banner in the lobby of uh, the hotel where ACC Media Days is taking place. Uh, you know, usually um, conferences will, will put on display banners that uh, highlight, you know, their successes. One of the ACC banners is toughest non-conference schedule in the country. <laughs> which yeah. I found interesting. That's a new one. Mm -hmm. I hadn't seen that yep. one. Do they have that? Do they have that stat somehow? I don't it's know. I'm sure it's factual. The good people at the ACC yeah. wouldn't be. Yeah. <laughs> How they come up with it, that? It, well, I tell you what helps is playing five games against Notre Dame. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's yeah. that improves your non-conference schedule. Yep. And then you're playing. You got some Georgia in there. You got uh, so you got the, some other SEC schools. I mean, well, then you got the, the all the games that they play. You know, the Florida, Florida State. The, right. Yeah. You got a lot of yeah. SEC head up matchups there at the end. Yeah. Um, yeah. Toughest non conference. Um, yeah. We'll get to some of the absurdities. Uh, that the the new backyard brawl, Boston College, Cal. Um, should be something else. It's a lot. It's a neighborhood scrap. <laughs> um, 